friends at your art teacher, Miss Barnett, and in this week's lesson called Seeing Shadows in Light, we've been talking about how artists use value to create dark tones and light tints. So, and that shows where the light is hitting in our picture. So today we're going to paint a seascape. So the first thing I want you to think about is I want you to determine what kind of seascape you're going to paint. Uh, we're going to write down some colors when we finish this video of different uh, things that you might need to mix. And then you're going to get a palette with yellow, red, blue, black, and white. You'll also get a mixing plate. You'll need paper towels, paint brushes, a water cup, and a piece of paper. I want you to think about um, is your painting going to be vertical, tall, or is it going to be horizontal? What time of day is your painting going to be in? And I want you to make sure you leave enough room for everything that you want to put in your painting. So since it's a seascape, we're going to have the uh, la playa, you need the water, you need the beach, you might want to put some boats and some rocks in, but it's your choice. All right, so I'm going to show you how to mix some darker colors and then we're going to get started. Here we go. All right, friends, if we think back to that chart we looked at in our previous video, it showed us how to mix tints and shades. A tint is a color with white. So let's get some white on our paper. We'll make two little piles. Rinse, rinse, wash our brush. And then we're gonna put just a dot of blue and mix. When you make a tint, you always take the white first and then add the color. Let's make a little darker tint, so we're going to put two dots in this time. Let's get a little bit more. And you can see, to make the tint darker, we just add a little bit more color. Beautiful. All right, let's, let me show you how to make a tone, or a shade, I'm sorry, a shade. A shade is when you take a color, so we want the color down first. And because black is the most powerful of all the colors, it's the most overpowering, we're gonna just start off with a little dot of black. A little bit'll do ya. Little dot here, little dot here. Two dots in this one. And let's see what happens. So a little bit changes the color just a bit, a lot more. changes the color a lot. So practice or think about what colors you're going to need for your picture and I'm going to get started. I'm going to paint the large areas first and then uh, work on the details. Here we go. All right, friends, so I let my first layer of paint dry. Now I'm going to come back in and add the details. Here we go. All right, friends, here's my completed light and shadow seascape. I hope you have just as much fun learning how to mix tints, tones, and shades as I did today. And I cannot wait to see how your seascape paintings turn out. They're going to be so cool. Let's get started.